I mean, we're obviously focusing with our research and development work very much also on the green hydrogen, but we are also working on projects for the blue hydrogen if it comes to uh, c capturing the, the CO2 and compressing it and putting it in underground storage. And uh, we would also be open to other colors of hydrogen. I think it is uh, important to see what you want to achieve with the different approaches. It is no question that in a sustainable world at the end, you will talk about only green hydrogen. This is where you want to go to. On the other side, I think uh, we also need to make sure that on the one hand, we need to build the use cases and infrastructure, and on the other side, this production infrastructure, for example, through the green hydrogen. And if it helps me to build up these applications with blue hydrogen uh, or turquoise hydrogen, then I think it makes absolutely sense to do it to accelerate the development of this industry. Don't forget, we also need, are still in a period, also on green hydrogen, where we need to build up supply chains, we will need to scale up manufacturers to get the cost down, to make it viable. And I would push for everything which helps to do this. At the end, I think the one measure is really, does it bring down CO2, what we're doing today? But instead of talking, what can we do in 10 years or 15 years, I'm, I'm a big fan of leaving multiple colors in the, in the system. But we have to be clear also why we do it. We do it to push for the applications, to really develop industries which use the hydrogen. It is a second step to say, when do we have the whole hydrogen generation base really fully green? Uh, and these timelines might not be completely in sync. And then I would still make believe it makes sense to use different colors of hydrogen. So Christian, we as a company also try to focus on the different things. 